Hi friends, we'll work on our report generation module of our uh, restaurant management. So we we'll need some data for that and to continue further, we'll be gen working on the report part with based on the date. Means what's today's sale, what is a, what was yesterday's sale was, all those things we'll see. For that purpose, we have a, okay, here is the full script. You will, let's run it and see once how this uh, works. So you can see this, it is here. The user has to select a date, say <coughs> yesterday's sell, what was the date yesterday? And here is the yesterday's sell and the total value, the date has come up. So let's go back one more day before and see this is on the 12th February. So like that, the user can select a date and then display the total values. So we'll see how that works. In the fourth and fifth part of the, our restaurant management, we had discussed about installing the tables and all. Because we have to work on the report module, we need data. So for that purpose, we have to run this and install a fresh set of data. Fresh in the sense that by doing this, we are updating including today's date. Because you, if you install the tables and work on the, after three, four days, so your data will be old. So you may not get what is today's sale, what is yesterday's sale, you may not get it. So for that purposes, I am just uh, deleting tables. Okay, I have one second, there is no need for product table, but I am deleting it. Now other two tables, sell and uh, bill also, I am deleting it. Now after deleting, now I am just creating the product table. Fine. Now I will add data to my table. Fine. Now this product table is with 24 records are available. Now the create table, this this will create two tables for me. One is my sell table and another was my uh, bill table. Now I will add some data to it. So data are added, bills, these are the number of bills it has generated on the last day. So these data are now added, this, using this data will generate our report module. This is a basic template or a blank window will uh, first start from. So here you can see we are imported TK and then TTK because we are going to use tree view. So tree view needs this. So TTK, it's a part of TTK. Then uh, we are importing our date entry. This particular module will require for the user to select a date from a calendar instead of manually typing something. They can, any user can type it in any, any of his format. So better to use, show a calendar so the user can select the date from that so that already there is a tutorial you can see that also how the date entry works so then fourth line is our my connection to my connect means it is the connection to our my uh, mysql table so my the database we are running it and this connection string is this is from my connect we are connect, uh, we are importing my connection so here it is this is a two line of text so from SQL Kemi, we are using and connecting to MySQL. You may ask me that why then these two lines, you could have written it there. To make it a modular means there are several files which will be accessing this particular connection string. So what happens, suppose you change the, from one system to other. So again, you need not uh, replace the, all those. Uh, it will be easy at one central point, you will be replacing the user ID and password. And that's the reason why we kept it in a separate file and calling it from all the files. So that is your, and this is our basic printer window and the size is declared then two labels we are uh, just giving one is to display what date the user has selected another one is to display the total value of what uh, what is the date cell is that so these two will be inside the our function will be manipulating the text actually so for that this is the simple two labels and the window let's just have a look at it's a blank window nothing will be there so on this <coughs> we'll add our components in the first, we'll start with displaying our calendar or the date picker. So for that, we'll say cal equal to, sorry, uh, cal equal to date entry. This is the date entry, what you have imported already at the top. While it will be placed in my parent window, my underscore w, this is the window what we are declared it. Our, many use it as root, we are declaring it my underscore w, then select mode. Select mode is gives us the mode of selection. Now it, we are saying it's a day. So now one more thing, text variable. Okay, before that we had to declare it one text. Okay, I'm just writing it. Able. Okay, before that, let me just declare it here. Cell is my tk dot string var. It's a string var. 
so this i will be connecting it to my date entry text variable text text oh yeah, i am not getting variable text variable equal to cell so this i am connecting it to that now let's me place it on the grid cal uh, dot grid this calendar i am just placing row equal to 0 and column equal to 0 now slightly i am not flushing with the left edge so fad x and fad y i am giving so it is maintain some gap from the top and the left edge of it so after that i will write the my function my update what is my update how it will be triggered we'll see now my update and it will receive lot of arguments so i am giving a fine now inside that i am writing pass <coughs> now you may ask how this function will be triggered so we, what because we have used a string variable the string variable will have a trace method so the trace now at whenever this variable changes run the function so what it will run it will run my update so that's all now this function will be triggered whenever the date is uh, date is changed so let's just save it and run up to this and see how this looks you can see the date is there now i i can this shows me the calendar i can user can pick up say yesterday's date is 13th i am picking up 13th okay now we'll move to display and the data will pick up and this uh, show to the user inside the my update function we'll first uh, read the uh, we'll check what are the data is entered or not so we'll say len cell cell is our uh, uh, string variable so the get function we are using of it uh, this equal to that we are just checking the length i'm just giving because once the date is selected it will definitely has to be more than four so after this now once it is selected if it is there now dt equal to call dot get uh, date so this will give me the what the date is uh, selected now that is there is two th things because we want to display it so we'll display it in a particular format so for that purpose let me just use strf i will use so for that dt1 i'm creating one string only out of the date object this dt is the date object i cannot directly uh, print it so i have to convert it to string so dt strf uh, time now i am saying it is inside this the format i am specifying i am format i am specifying is y y means four digit now four digit year so here m m is the uh, two digit 0 1 0 2 0 3 like that two digit month sorry here and then i am giving it that d so here the d is the date uh, whatever the current date it is so this is the one i will get it in a by using strf time now one more format i will use it so this format i will not display because ymd is the format which is required for the mysql database so that i'll use this is for the users to display so for display purpose <coughs> i will use strf time here it is now i will say percentage d i am saying d and here again i am saying there are many list of formats are available you can change it whatever way you want b means here jan january february march like that it will be displayed so i am just saying here so this is the format it will be now what i am planning to do here is here i have just a l1 you can see a label is there where i have already given a foreground is blue there i will display what the user has selected actually this tutorial we have already discussed once again we are doing this config now what i will config text equal to dt2 because this particular format i will be using for displaying now this much also i can check it up to this this is so far nothing to do with pulling the data from the database and all this is just to check how the data is collected say current date 14 you can see 14 february is displayed now let me just move it one more any date i pick up this uh, it, it shows me the data i can go backward also the save let me say first first of january 22 instead of writing all the text we'll just copy the basic uh, preview display part so here it is so we have just selected it 
so this is the tree view rather we should start little from more so we'll this is our tree view from here we should take it so we'll scroll down a bit we have taken it up to this point we'll copy this will paste it here so this is the our tree view is added you can learn the basics of tree view if you are for learning this now one more thing also will copy it from there the looping inside from the database so for that we'll just uh, up to this will copy let me just yeah so this four lines also will copy from here the reason I'll explain so let's paste it here so we'll move little inward sorry this is inside our uh, if block so that's all now we'll work on this this one we should move it inside okay inside the for loop so this will work it also this is not ready now what has happened is this uh, there are five columns are there so we are so headings now up to five now here slightly the headings will change because what you have copied is for that student table so it is our for our purpose so this is product id or pid second one is uh, for us it is price so this is from our cell table we are taking quantity quantity is here now after quantity let me just take it the bill number this is the bill number now after that it is the bill date so bill date is here so these are the changes we have done it here so the rest of the things same the trace method everything will continue now let us come to the uh, come to our loop inside this function will be insorting our data so for that we'll say <coughs> this query instead of writing it here we'll take it to above so we'll write our query here query equal to now this is the first select uh, let's call uh, take also star from my table name is plus two cell where where bill date equal to now what I am doing here I, am, I just want to put a date here so I am giving a placeholder here percentage s fine now here what I will do now I will pass the record set is my connection execute it will execute the query and the parameter I will pass it the parameter here is dt1 why where from the dt1 at the top two here you can see dt1 dt2 dt2 is what is being displayed as a label but dt1 is in the format y m and d year month and date this is the format while inside the query I have to write it for SQL database so SQL this particular da database will take it in this format and here I am giving it so this now the query is ready query part is ready now I am retrieving the record set now the record set is here and I am looping it and one by one I am inserting it here but while inserting I need not first there is a uh, ID field is there that ID field is not required for me for display part so the values case what I will do I will put it as start from one it's sequentially with the column names what sequence I am getting thing suppose I want in a different sequence instead of star I will write the column names here so first one one to here it is the our uh, uh, columns of the cell table is here you can just uh, match this one two three it starts from zero zero we don't first column we don't want to display so I am just cross checking yeah it is four then it is the last one is five so and one more thing okay let's let's up to this let's see how it works then we'll we also have to display the total value so that will do now let's just check this whether so far whatever we have done how it is working this is the tree view the column names whatever we have changed it here it is there now let me just select the yesterday's date fine it has come 13th February and all the you see the date column here is 13th I will change this to 
11th it is okay one more thing i missed because it's keeping the data and adding a uh, new data also so that's i don't want so moment i change it i should remove the all the data from here and then add the new data that part i have missed i will add that and here will display the total value now let us remove the old uh, data from the tree view so for that for item in tr sorry trb this is our tree view get children get children now this we are looping through and removing them because we have seen without that what happened if you have selected one date then gone to another date the previous uh, list and the this list is added to that so for that delete item so now with this the, all the uh, history previously before populating the new data previous data will be removed now okay we'll go for now total now let's keep a variable total equal to zero so now this variable will add it to that so we'll say values it is here now here total now what is the total now total equal to round we'll make it a round okay afterwards we'll see now first what happens there are two things number of items sold and uh, multiplied it by price so it is total plus now the will do the multiplication so for that dt2 the quantity multiplied by the price now again dt3 now this what value we are getting it let's just round it off so for that we'll say round here it is we'll give up to two places if you want change it change it so this value will give us the total value uh, every every uh, line item or every row quantity it will multiply with the price and adds to the total so at the end of this loop we'll get the total for that particular day what you have selected so we have to come out of the loop for this here it is we are outside the for loop and saying that l2 l2 is our label what you have in a uh, total value we have kept created it here below yeah here it is it's with the foreground red we are showing it l2 here so this particular one and slightly font we have increased to times 22 you want change it uh, whatever font size style everything you keep on changing so let's come back to our area here where it is l2 here it is so l2 config we are configuring it the value inside uh, the options of that l2 text equal to now here the issue is we'll write some text total okay plus we'll just this is the label and we are saying the total but note that this is a not a string so we have to convert uh, convert it to a the, whatever the total value is there convert it into a string and then add it to that so that's all let me just save this so this will configure the our uh, label uh, or the display part of it let's just run it and see here we are now let's just see what was the cell yesterday 13 yeah total has come now a, every time i select the date it will fresh date should come yeah so 14th is only 14th date is selecting 13th is removed because we have used that for loop so any date i'll go back this is the 11th now I'll just go back. I don't know how many backward I have gone. If you want more backward, you have to data so that while installing you can that for loop you have to change it, increase it. So now if you increase it that much backward from today, you can go. So that's all. This is the report module. In fact, the report module can be much more complex also. It's just an introduction. Say what is the my total sell of the week? What is my total sell of the month? And which quantity which particular item is i am selling more and all all those analysis also can be done but that report is little complicated so you we will do it in a later stage once you are thorough in this so uh, that's complete so i think this uh, this is the sixth part we are completing so in the part all installations everything we are discussed and in the five and four and five we have installed the tables and in the sixth part this is what uh, we are discussing about the report that's all friend i request you to go through all the parts check it 
put your questions suggestions doubts anything in the comment section below and i'll request you please share this videos with your friends and ask them and i will request you also to please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new new videos and we frequently do that also and use it for this for a, this project as a project work and please share with your others and thank you for watching and please subscribe